بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو انادر ویڈیو آن اوریکل ایپیکس اینڈ ٹو ڈے دا ٹاپک از سیکیورٹی اوریکل ایپیکس ہیز بلٹ ان سیکیورٹی کالڈ از اے سی ایل اے سی ایل اسٹینڈ فار ایکسس کنٹرول لسٹ وچ مینس اف سم ان سم ون از ناٹ ایڈیڈ ان ٹو اے سی ایل ول ناٹ ہیو اینی ایکسس and we will see in the application as well how you can use this built-in security instead of creating your own security uh, applications or features or logic so better to have this standard feature which we will be discussing to so normally uh, security is into two parts uh, even in apex it is into two parts one is authentication and the authorization authentication is when you have username and password and when you will enter both correct you get authenticated that you are a valid user now the next stage is authorization within application there will be different functions what you can perform and what you can't perform what you can see and what you can't see you know i mean uh, it it depends on your role and responsibilities right so today we will see in oracle apex roles options and i will show you the standard uh, oracle apex security right okay um, i have uh, a user in apex.oracle.com which you can create even for free and now what i'm going to do uh, i will create a new application using roles security of oracle apex right new application and then i will type it uh, security demo and here if you see here uh, you have these features right so all these options you might be skipping in the past but now you have to concentrate on these so here is the access control available as a feature so i am going to select all right and then let me add one page based on our amps uh, amp i think it is amp table right interactive report okay employees and then i will be selecting include form as well sorry before that i need to select the table amp okay this is standard table and this one at page right that's it and if still you want to add it you can add it over here all right so it's interactive report triple on view and that's it uh, save that's it no other changes straight away i haven't written any custom authorization or authentication or anything our security normally uh, developers uh, are applying different logics to hide buttons to remove buttons this and that so this we will be doing using standard security that's it and our application is ready now i am going to open it this is my username which is an admin okay good so if you see here here we have the administration part which is automatically added and these are those features which i had enabled and this is that uh, pwa to install application on your mobile app mobile right so this is also we had enabled it and then we have this acl so i am clicking acl over here and it say any authenticated user may access this application right now if no that means it is applied authenticated means anyone it is open right so i'm just keeping it like this and then you can go to the users and here this admin is by default added and now if i add a user i will add let's say for example i have another user called mahruk maro and i am assigning her 
may be administrator or contributor or reader. Reader is just a read only, right? Contributor can make uh, entries and this administrator is on top. I will show you how uh, administrator is getting contributor as well as reader or you know cumulative access. So you can have on the top maybe general manager, then manager and then supervisor, things like that. So on the top you can give cumulative access as well. So you don't need to do manually one by one. Okay, so this is how you can uh, give let's say contributor and that's it. This is now access control list uh, for this application, right? You can add multiple uh, users if you have with the comma separated, I believe it is there, uh, yeah, comma, comma or semicolon, right? Or white space, okay. So this is how you can add into this. Now, how to apply it? Uh, on the pages or your uh, items so let me go to this page uh, not this page I think we have to go to the employee page let me open sorry uh, this is my employee uh, page uh, report so if I see here let me give introduction over here so this is my page on the top on the left side if you can see over here so if I click this uh, page and I go down on the right side in the properties at the bottom right so if you see here at the bottom uh, you will find security right authorization scheme so now I have to give access of our pages so I will say if you see here uh, administration rights that means if I will assign this administration rights only administrator once they will log in they will get this page okay not administration right so if administration shouldn't be there right so these are sort of uh, access you can give to let's say for example I'm assigning this to as a contribute contributor or contribution right same way if you come to the region move down and you will be able to see security right so authorization again here you can assign this or if there are you have multiple uh, access now we assigned at this level page level region level now let's move to the button do we have on the button security yes right so this button will not appear if you are not an administrator okay very simple and before that you need to be in ACL so it's a double security okay uh, at the same time if you see let's say for example salary okay let's see let's move down do we have security on this yes we have and administrative rights so even I have assigned this role security up to the item level item button region page and now even before that uh, even he or she should not be able to see a menu as well right okay let's move to the menu lists so I will be clicking this navigation menu okay and if you see here I have this implies I will click here I will move down and authorization I will say only administrator and apply sorry contributor or I think uh, you have to decide the way you want to access I uh, give access so ideal I think I should have uh, assigned um, contribution A contribution is this right okay this is contribution and if I say administration should be with it's already assigned right by the Oracle and now let me go back to my page I think I need I made uh, administration access over there if I'm not wrong let me check double check uh, maybe on button level or item level this is my button I think I ah, okay yeah this is contribution and even here I will make uh, contribution is there and here 
salary you can let's say only administration right so administrator or manager or it is up to you i mean uh, this is the way you can have this securities application so now i'm running since i am admin so i am having this access right if you see here employees right i can i can have it right since i am uh, if you see here uh, employee job manager hired salary it is showing salary right now let me change a bit logic over here salary since i am using admin so i am i will say not administration rights it's opposite of the administration right so administrator will not be able to see the salary right it should be missing now gone that's it and the good thing is and the good thing is even you can apply or assign all these roles create roles using apis as well so oracle has the api so uh, that is also not a problem so now let me show you how Oh, sorry this is created uh, in the shared components here you will have two uh, uh, menus or uh, 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 urls so first is authorization schemes if you see here the first one administration rights right so here even it will give the message as well and application role administrator so here the name is entered as an administrator right you can have your own no problem at all now the same way if i will be going back to my access so if you see here two users are there in my access uh, control list uh, over here so if i click uh, this role this is my administrator role administrator rights in this group or group contribution and here you can add user to the role respective role that was the front end which i was showing there you can do the same from shared components as well okay mm, this is the contribution a uh, contributor right let me show you one more thing uh, shared components and here okay now let's say contributions if you see here what i was saying cumulative cumulative means if this contribution if you are saying even administrator will have it because administrator you are giving more power right that okay administrator should also have the contribution rights administ because maybe something you have given to administrator and administrator is admin they have to manage it they have to troubleshoot it so this is how you can uh, accumulate your uh, privileges let's say for example bottom up so supervisor might have few options then next is manager then the top is general manager and on the top is a ceo so to ceo you will this is the way right so down level automatically you will have the access so if administrator is there as a contributor if you will assign something come to be automatically administrator will have the access and it is built in um, feature of oracle apex uh, nothing to worry about its performance or any other issues it will be automatically upgraded you don't need to do anything in the new versions or uh, etc so i i believe i think i have uh, explained it in uh, uh, detail and now you can use these options and if you see here it is showing you how many administrators are there only user defined in application access list may access this so that means this is enabled so let me disable it if i will disable it that means now acl is bypassed all authenticated user means if you know username password you can access the application right this is how it is you don't need to be added into the acl so i think uh, this is a pretty good feature you should try it and uh, try to develop your logic in a way or design your application in a way that you should be able to use these standard features 
otherwise you will be uh, developing your own uh, a lot of time will be consumed uh, cost will be there and later you know, you know troubleshooting will also not be easy because you might go somewhere else and someone else is taking your position so they have to understand your logics uh, it depends on your even documentation but uh, this is since it is standard so anyone who has the oracle apex knowledge he or she can come and take it up right please share your feedback thank you very much and allah hafiz